So I wanted to create a mistletoe inspired look for you guys. I was looking at photos of mistletoe and I noticed that they have kind of like white berries and not really like the red holiday berries. So that was literally my inspiration. You can see mistletoe growing um, with the white berries more on, their, on the trees and stuff like that. So the more kind of Christmas style would be with the red bow and everything like that. That being said, you can always juice this up with a bright, pretty red lip to sort of tie in that more cartoon type of Christmas mistletoe if that's what you're going for. I kind of like the focal point for this look to be the green and then the white just sort of falls into it. I did do varying shades of light to um, darker green as the leaves do have that sort of ombre light dark effect and not all leaves are the exact same color. So I just want it to be kind of happy and lit and bright. If it's too spring and summery for you, you could always go for a darker green. Personally, I find some dark colors to be very somber. That's kind of why I haven't really done a super dark Christmas um, look. Once again, uh, if you're living in a place where it's much more rainy and cold, perhaps bright dropping lipstick. Perhaps brighter colors are really just kind of inappropriate. I don't know, but wear what you like. Um, thanks for watching. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm going to take the Dumb Tool 772, which is a slightly smaller paddle brush, very much like the 777. I'm going to take Sugar Pills Chroma Lust in Absinthe, which is this really pretty sort of... Um, if you're familiar with absinthe liquor or the fairy dust uh, shot or anything like that, I don't know if you are, <laughs> but it's basically that really rich sort of minty, mint to lime type of color. Take a little bit of pumpkin poppy spoiled again, mixing medium. I'm just going to take a drop of that and put it in the paddle brush. Now the color's already in the lid, so I'm just going to press my 772 into the brush or into the pigment, and it's just slightly foiled so that it has a base and the glitter will catch and be more prominent. I'm just going to go ahead and pat this all over the lid. If you don't want to use it wet, you can always use a glitter base or um, not a glitter. Yeah, you could use a glitter base like a glitter glue if you wanted to. So I'm just going to pat absinthe all over the lid. And if you feel you need to do a wash of the pigment dry, I'm now going to take June Bug um, by Sugar Pill which is kind of similar to Max Club or Urban Decay's Lounge. Sorry. <laughs> Sugar Pill doesn't make a brown. It's basically a sort of emerald green with shimmer in it. So it's not exactly like Lounge or Club, but it's definitely more of the green shifted jewel tone. I would definitely say it's um, Sugar Pill's take on that color. And sort of bring it in a quarter of the way in. Now, just to sort of marry the brighter green into the darker green, I'm just going to take a little bit of that over Junebug on the dry side of the brush. You can take any fluffy brush. I'm just going to take the Sigma E40, which is this blended brush, and the Too Faced Matte Palette. I'm going to go ahead and take Chinchilla to blend out these sugary, sparkly chromalusts and from Sugar Bill. And we're just going to use a little bit of Chinchilla. Too Faced Matte Palette would be a great staple to give a makeup lover since it can be hard to find pretty mattes, but also beginner as well since you have some basics and some fun colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out. I'm now going to take Fresh Linen to blend out Chinchilla. As you can kind of see, I've ignored the natural shape of my orbital bone for me personally, which is that more circular effect because I have very round eyes. But um, based on the little funny, like little kind of feathery lines I have in my own eye, it's kind of why I ignore that because I don't like to give my eye like an unnecessary aging effect. I'm now going to take a little bit of coffee bean, which is this darker brown. I'm going to blend it with chinchilla. So just going back and forth. And I'm just going to go in the outer corner of the eye and kind of blend that into the crease to create a very soft dimension and a little bit of shading. Um, the crease, to finish it off, I sort of need to blend it out towards the brow bone by taking this very soft brown. And I'm going to take Tough Suede. I know a lot of um, videos and new beginning to classes, whatever, will always have you take the light to the dark. Um, 
I do like to start off with like a medium tone and then go to the dark. Usually I do like to buff it out with a lighter shade because um, that's kind of where I'm going with it anyways. Um, a lot of times when you take the darker shade as a first or secondary color, you still need to do some buffing with it anyway. So I always just kind of end with the lighter to take care of that. A lot of, pl uh, a lot of um, classes, beginner's classes, will show you how to buff it out by taking your highlight shade. What that can actually do, in my opinion, is just kind of create like a creasy, muddy, harsh uh, line. It doesn't really buff it out. It just looks like you kind of went over the edges to erase it. But if you do need to add some of your brow, back, brow bone back, I'll do that at the very end, but just blending it into that tough suede color rather than trying to blend it down into the dark. I'm going to take a little bit of Velveteen Bunny, and I'm just going to buff this out in my brow area because the brow area is a little dark. I'm just going to clean that up and brighten it up a bit. Um, well, any white, really is the color of the little berries that dangle from mistletoe. Take Sugar Pills Lumi, which is a silver, not a silver, it's a white, with um, teal glitter. So I'm gonna take some of this, 772, whichever is easiest, and I'm just going to place this in the arch of the brow, just to brighten that up a little bit in the inner tear duct. So it's just a little, that's uh, just a little lilt of this Lumi color, so in the right light, you're really going to see it pop. To gather this look, I'm going to take the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. I am a pretty big fan of putting this on the lower lash line. I'm not going to do that today, though. I am just going to go ahead and place this over the center of the eyelid, just to kind of pull out the pupil of the eye. I'm now going to take Lit Cosmetics Barbie Shops. And I know, um, what is it, those Lorac Luster Drops? Uh, and silver and gold are really popular, so I'm going to do sort of a different version of that idea. I'm just going to place Barbie shops in the center of the lid for some holiday cheer. Bring out the center of the lid. It's gorgeous when you see in pictures people's eyes look so radiant and happy because they're with their friends and family. The eyeliner, I'm going to take, this is the, I think this is a new product, maybe I'm wrong. Um, the Tarte High Performance Natural Skinny Smaller Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. This shade is Moonstone. Is that, uh, it's really smooth when it glides on. You don't have to like tug at it. You don't have to work at it to get it on. You get tight line and waterline. It's so easy with it. You could buy it at a mainstay store. You don't have to order online. And my lashes are really dark. I'm just taking this smudge stick side and blending that out on the waterline. I don't need to add more, it'll just become too much, too wet, and too much product. Actually, if you were to buy this for your clients, it'd probably be best to glue down the lid so you wouldn't be able to pull that back off. You can always use a Q-tip or something to blend it out on a client. I'm not going to take the June Bug pigment again from um, Sugar Pill. I'm taking the tips of this shader brush, since we've already used it, we don't need to get another brush out. I'm just going to go ahead and place this on the lower lash line on top of Moonstone Brown, the uh, Tarte Multiply Eye Lash Enhancing Liquid Liner. I'm just going to close my eye and go ahead and put this on. Now the eyeshadow and the tail of the eye is actually already coming up out of wing, so if you don't want to do winged liner, that's fine too. Take the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the upper and lower lashes of the eye. Take our Dell Double Up Lashes, the number 206. What I like about these is that they're very light and kind of airy. So I'm going to go ahead and take these and be able to take the Inglot AMC um, Cream Blush, number 90. I'm just going to blend this onto the face. It's very, these blushes are very soft, they kind of feel like souffle. They work better if you keep them upside down when you're storing them so the oils and the blush kind of drain to the top, otherwise they feel kind of dry. I'm now going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, like a broken record, and I'm going to put this on with the e.l.f. stipple brush. I'm going to put quite a bit on towards the back of the cheekbone just to pop it out and sort of blend it up onto the cheek just a little bit. Bring out some of the um, the pop and the warmth in the green. I'm actually going to take powdered sun 
I'm just gonna blend it back into Snow Bunny so it's not too gold for my current complexion. And I'm just going to go up in a circle, take 67 Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner, and we're just gonna line the lips and feather them in with this lip pencil to uh, 24. The Urban Decay 24-7s look much heavier and definitely change the lipstick um, base tone much more and can make the lips look a little overdrawn, so I'm not really missing them. Finish off the lips with a bit of a pinky color. I'm going to take the Pumpkin Poppy um, Pink and Lilac, or you could take Abernathy if you don't have this one. I just don't want the lips to be too nude because I'm just really not digging that with my new kind of color. Something sort of green and festive but not too over the top. You could probably wear this with maybe a little less glitter and it could be summer appropriate as well. So if you're watching this and it's spring, summer, whatever, it should uh, work well depending on how you want to wear it. Thank you so much for watching again.